What's good, YouTube? Introduce yourself. Omar Downey. And what do you just do? Uh, top 32 YSS properties. And let's go ahead and get into the deck. All right, so it's extra deck Monarch. So uh, three Aether, three Erebus. I was playing two and two for a while, but you really need three just to get yourself going. Uh, three Karaz. This pretty much helps you unbreak. I know some people play two, but like you just really want, you don't really want to draw, but like he's this low card when you open up slow and you just kind of like uh, unbreak by popping brilliance and I think three's right. Uh, that's the Monarch. Uh, two Idea and two Eidos. I like them, they're good. Uh, three Red Lair. I don't play the Blue Lair or uh, E-Telly because they're kind of bricks, like Blue Lair is really bad to draw and you don't really need it. Like I only play this because it's like, it kind of does everything. Like it'll trigger a return. It'll, uh, you can make rank fives with it and you can just like, uh, it's an instant fodder. So uh, three is pretty good, I like three. It can go down to two, but three is good. And then the one Lazuli and three Maxi. Maxi is pretty good. And then for the spells, three Pantheism, three Primes, three Tenacity, three Returns, three Starforth, and one Domain. Domain is actually pretty good. It's like a, it's almost like a searchable fodder where if you were missing like one tribute. You could just search this with like tenacity and like if you just have like a, an Eidos and like a big monarch or just like a red layer and a big monarch, you can just go like summon that, search it with tenacity, and then uh, you can start going off. So this is, this is actually really good. And then uh, the last cards are three brilliants, which is okay. Like even if you dead draw some of them, you can always just pop them with Karaz. Uh, you can always like. If you open up like multiples of these, or like this and like a Lazuli, you can always just like, uh, when the game keeps on progressing, you can just eventually uh, Durandal back your hand. And it's, I mean, it's not bad, like you can just keep this in your hand. Eventually Durandal at some point in the game most of the time, if you're like, if you're just going off. So uh, definitely brilliant. Really and one up there. All right. And then for a side deck. Uh, three flying seat, just for V8, because I wasn't really scared of him, but uh, I, I think I needed like something, just not just the back row hate. So this kind of like, because if you break against BA, sometimes they can just like rush you really fast. And with flying seat, it, it kind of like makes him, um, it slows him down. So even if, even if you break, you can still kind of just keep going, or not keep going, but like you can kind of just draw for a few turns. And uh, it was definitely better than Reaper, because with Reaper, they can still kind of like pressure you. If you open up slow, and it's like so you're starting with five hands in a monarch in a monarch deck, which is not really good. So I think this is pretty good. Uh, three twin twister, obviously just for back right. Uh, dark holes and a right geki. This didn't come on. These didn't come in much, but um, they were okay. And two shared rides. This was like <laughs> I was playing a 13 card side deck because this was really really bad. Like I, it was. Honestly, I put it like the minute before because I didn't want to play like Master Strix or Chaos Trapful in the mirror match because I didn't want to get like blown out by a Twin Twister. So my not my theory was like if I just play um, cards that are like chainable, where even if they Twin Twister, they'll still get value. So if like they Twin Twister this, you know, I just chain it and then like it kind of kind of freezes them for the turn if they want to, you know, like they want to go off with uh, Pantheism and Tenacity and Return or whatever. And this obviously, if they just chain it, you can just obviously just chain it, negate the Twin Twister, and then like negate the rest of the turn and, uh, with Return and all that other stuff. And store for it. And then Decree. Decree is just because of the Clifford deck. I was kind of scared of it, but um, this is pretty much audible because like they can't really clock you. So even if you draw this, like they have a full field and everything, not full field, but like five back rows or like one monster. Usually they're just attacking you with like 18, 18, or like maybe 36, but like with this, like you don't get clocked, so even if you draw it late, it's still fine because you're not gonna die. Alright, and then for the extra deck, the Seraph Knight, obviously. Two Pallades. I actually went into two a lot against BA. I played four BA, and I I think I two all of them, but Pallades is definitely really good. Like late game when you're just grinding, like Beatrice, this is like this comes in really, really good. Uh, two Durandells. I actually made two a lot. Like two is actually really good. Like bitch. Mulliganing your bad hand is actually really relevant. Like I didn't really use this like defense card, like where if something activates you can just like pop a spell, but it was mainly used for like mulliganing. In the mirror match, you can just like when they try to aether you, you just use it. When you draw a bad, like a Lazuli and a brilliant, you can just set the brilliant, return everything back, then go brilliant, and it's like another little five. It was really good. Uh, the 
this guy, I didn't really make him much, but he's there. Uh, Tiris, just because the the Clifford deck, they played rivalry, so two pan, two primes would make this, so it was like an out. Uh, Adrius from Asker Strike, pretty much. Zen Mayo, uh, he came up, he was good. Uh, Shark Fortress, OTK with, uh, you know, OTK was just like one monarch, and this guy was just really, really good. Volka, obviously, and that. They won so many games. Um, Beatrice, I, I wouldn't take it out, but like, I didn't make it this weekend, but I, I wouldn't take it out just because it does come up, but it doesn't come up this weekend. But like, it just it kind of wins you the game sometimes when you like. It's really hard to get over 28 Beatrice, and you're getting so much value off like the, the panties and the ideas, so it, it, it's really good. And then the rank 8th, Hope, uh, I don't remember if I made it, but it's definitely really good in the mirror match to negate a Storm 4. I'm pretty sure this can negate Storm 4. Uh, yeah, you, you can negate Storm yeah. 4. So it's really good in the mirror match. So you can just like. If you have two marks on the guy and they set a card, you can just like main phase, priority, whatever, just make make this guy and they can't storm for it through, so it was good. And then Alistair. Alistair was actually insane today. Like I bounced so many Dante's and Beatrices and uh, so many times in the mirror match, like when it's kinda like grindy, you just make this in the obviously defense, and then uh, you bounce like either a dead prime or like a, a brilliance and then or a return, just something like dead like that. You call it brilliant and it's it puts them back a lot and it's at 3200 defense is kinda hard to get over if they don't have like a they have to Erebus it or like domain it, but uh, yeah that was really good. Alright, and uh, any notable rounds and matchups? Um I, I, well my matchups was four BA, two monarch, two pendulums, and two cod. It's probably like all the big decks pretty much. Um I lost to a monarch deck and a Cosmo deck, and my, uh, I had cool rounds, so this guy opens up Joker, not Joker, uh, Luster, Sorcerer, and a Rest Grab, and he ends with Double Omega and a Joker, and I OTK him on my first turn, just with like, it was just insane, this deck is just crazy, like, this is definitely the most powerful deck, and, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, and any shoutouts? Yeah, so shoutouts to TCS, my sponsor, check them out on Bellflower, Lake, Bellflower, California, they're really, really good, check out their online shop, there's, um, Thanks to the High Council with the deck, you know, the guys are really good, really good group of team. Um, shout out to Billy for helping me finish the deck. He gave me like 20 cards, I, re I really appreciated that. And um, shout out to Jerry, and I think that's all. All right, thanks man. Cool.